You're looking rough. I love you too. Listen, I know you hardly slept. What happened with Alex and Gwyn? I'm fine. Oi, come here. You don't have to act tough with me. I know that he was a mate. Well, he won't. I mean, he's not a, a mate, mate. Well, colleague, whatever. It's still horrible. Look, I can't let it get to you. This is our new start. I'm not going to let that or anyone bring us down. All right. You're going to take them all on for me, are you? Yeah, absolutely. Starting with my dad. Oh, babe, listen, we should, we should settle in first. Well, you want your job back, don't you? Well, then. This is mad. So Mr Macy wasn't impressed with you and Alex squatting in his property? He was proper off-the-scale angry. But Alex won't budge. He loved winding him up. But then Declan turned nasty. Like, really hated us. Do you think it was him? We can't comment on that. Well, I don't think so. Not after all this time, but I bet he knows something. Why don't you leave the detective work to us? Vic, I got your tape. Ian, there was me, livid, cos I thought you just hadn't turned up for work. Threw it out on the lash last night, you see? I thought you had a hangover. I could have murdered her. <laughs> Thanks again for your time. What did they say? Andy, <laughs> yeah, give me all your money. <gasps> But I haven't got any money. I've only got a little boy. Will he do? No, I want money. <laughs> right, come on, Arthur, please. Can you go and get your shoes? Otherwise, it's not going to be any birthday party if we don't get to the shops. Go on. Sorry. Remember my sixth birthday, you know, I got this emu, like, ventriloquist dummy. I absolutely loved it. And so began Paddy's love affair with having his hand up animals' backsides. <laughs> Would you like any breakfast? Uh, no, thanks. I can't eat at the moment, which is unusual for me. I can't sleep either. Just keep going over and over who it is Look, she might be seeing. You don't know that for sure. <sighs> but Arthur, have you got those shoes yet? They're in your room. We... No. Come on, darling. When is it going to start? I do know, Martha. I know. The way she is right now, anything's possible. Who is he, though? And for how long? Driving me insane. I've been through everyone in the village. You've been through every rep. I rip him to pieces. Whoever he is. I'm gonna get his skin and I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Where's your coffee? Thanks. How are you feeling? Fine, yeah. You? Great. I'm sure you're okay. It's just uh, we well, shot off to bed really fast. Yeah, sorry for crashing. Sorry, it wasn't because of the the kiss. No, don't be daft. That is what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah. It's just. Oh, I, I can't help thinking. No, no, don't, don't think. Thinking is bad. Let's absolutely not think. This is new territory for me too, you know, Ness. What about Paddy? Paddy's not here. That's not answering the question. I'll tell you what, why don't we um, sit down later and talk about everything? See if we're both not going crazy here, hey? Talk about everything? Even telling Paddy? Yeah, totally. Get us three strong coffees and three massive cream cakes. She's in shock. I don't want anything. Just two massive cream cakes. All this time, he's been lying there dead on that cold glamping site. Right, are you ready? The last one to the counter is a nincompoo. Oh, stop <laughs> it. He's already <laughs> tried to run over a policeman with his scooter. Them and us, Edna, them and us. <laughs> have, have we crashed awake? <laughs> Actually, I think maybe you better sit down. We've sat down most of our lives at this age. I'm afraid it's Alex. My lodger, Alex. Has he been found? His remains have. Oh, Edna, Edna, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. How well do you know Victoria Sugden? Not very. About as well as you knew Alex Moss, I'm guessing. If you say so. 
I must have spoken to them twice, three times. As little as that. Look, I'm more than happy to do this down at the station, but you might have noticed I've got a business to save. Not much of one, admittedly. What did you talk to them about? Pardon? I think you heard me. I don't know. I can't remember. Really? Even though you tried to evict him from squatting in one of your properties? Yes, ages ago. Things must have got heated. Yeah, they did. We had words. Did I kill him? No. Can I get anyone a cuppa? Yeah, that'd be great. Sugar? Ta. Oh. Tell you what, why don't we take statements from your staff and then resume this little chat later? Let's not. You know, I've already offered to cooperate down at the station. You've already arrested me for murder and then released me. What more do you want? Lost something? Uh, no. no. And I don't mean that husband of yours. Why is he still at Marlon's? Well, no married couples have their tips. It's fine, what? Pearl. We'll see. Oh, and I do miss Leo. It's not good for him going from pillar to pillar. Take the day off. Why? Because I'm feeling generous and we haven't really got that much on anyway, so please. Please. Look, I really need to buy, but the good stuff. Yes, of course I've got the money. No, you can absolutely not come here. All right, fine, whatever you say. How long? Spare two hour and one schnoodle to go. <laughs> Sounds like a takeaway order. Agency. Oh, we can manage, can't we? Well, not without Paddy. I can't manage without P Paddy. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here. Hey, only a few hours to go, eh? Yeah. It'll pass, you know, it usually does. I'm due up at Butler's, but I can cancel. No, please go. I mean, we can't let Moira down, can we? Okay, for sure. Mm. Oh, regular little housewife. Yeah. You sure you're okay? Mm-hmm. I found his mug in the cupboard. He, he took four sugars in his coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I can take the day off. Why? Because Debbie's back. I'm gonna have to face her sometime. Oh, for you. I know you cut up about this. Ugh, I'm fine. I'm a big grown-up girl. So I noticed. <laughs> So it's uh, not put you off then? Eh? Hey? The fact the men I've seen have wound up dead. And I thought my days of living dangerously were over. Oh, see you later. Show me about Alex. Oh. Haven't you got anything to say about anything? Well, Cameron's going to be working here again soon, so I don't want any trouble, all right? Like I'd waste my energy on either of you two. All this time worrying about something as silly and pointless as money. He still robbed you. There's no point in making him a martyr. Cameron, have you heard? Yeah, 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 I have, yeah. Um, coffee, strong flat. Are you drinking in? No, to go. We were just saying how out of character the robbery was. Perhaps you were right. Maybe he got himself into some sort of trouble and, and he needed money. Yeah, maybe. Well, they already arrested him on suspicion of murder. <gasps> no way. Oh, and then they let him go. Well, they must have some then. When the judge and jury are finally finished, maybe you could get on with your jobs. Well, no offence, but do we even have one? You'd stand more of a chance if we could all get on with our work instead of gossiping about the man who pays your wages. Oh, Betty. I am so sorry for your loss. He's dead. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I know. At least now he's out of it. You need a strong sweet tea. Ruby, I'll get Edna home. He never robbed you. I believe that to my grave. 
I am so sorry. I got the next train over. I just needed to be near him. It's good to see you again. Hi. Are your dinners in the fridge? I'm more interested. No, not fight. Don't. I know, but it just keeps going over my head, you know? Adam, it's pointless. And I know that more than anyone. I have stormed through their moody sheep like no one's business. <laughs> they despise me like, but... Sorry. Too happy, Ella. I'll tone it back. Listen, I'm gonna take the afternoon off. Yeah, it's just not in it. Adam, don't be too hard on yourself. Paul out. Looks devastated. Yeah, we both are. Well, yeah, especially with you and Alex. It, can we not talk about that? So come on then. What's lit you up? Nothing. Spill. I'm not wanting to jinx anything. But? There might have been a tiny development in my love life. Not with the addict. Thanks for that. Oh, oh Gabby, look at all that! <laughs> Howdy, partner! <laughs> Wait. Guess what, Daddy? What? I'm six. That's seven, Stu. Oh, Happy well. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Have you got me a present? <laughs> Later. Oh, look out. Look out, lad. Oh. Heather's in a terrible state. Yeah, I thought she would be. I was worried about how you might take it with everything you've been through. That's lovely of you, but, um, I'm fine. Fine. So... I could help with the party preparations. Oh, no, no, I think I've got it all covered. Uh -huh. Just, you know, come over about four or something. Great. Come on, Mama. Yeah. Laurel, is everything OK? I'm not sure. This is definitely the better stuff, is it? Because Shouldn't it... you be more worried about payment? You expect me to come here for nothing, do you? You said you were passing. You said we couldn't meet at the normal place. That's because I'm not at the normal place. But home visits cost. Look, that's all I have, OK? I don't have any more. I don't know what you want me to do. No. It'd be a big payment on account, and they'd cover more than my delivery. No, charge. OK? I can, I can get you the extra, I promise, but I just don't have it on me. Sorry. No, 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 wait! Wait. <sighs> Take them. Just take them! I'm not trying to put you off. I'm just trying to warn you of how hard it is. And we're getting help. We're getting it sorted. Really? So has he agreed to go into rehab? Vanessa, I mean it. I'm not trying to bring you down. But what we went through with Holly was... But this is different. How? One addict is the same as the next. And they will lie, and they will cheat, and they will do anything, anything to make sure they get the next fix. Look, I don't want to see my worst enemy go through that, let alone a friend. Look, just think about it carefully before getting too involved. It's too late. I mean, too deep. You can't save them on your own. It'll never work. Yeah, all right. When you've completely finished wrecking my happiness. You should have given us a half day isn't just a sneaky way of finishing us all. Trust me, Nicola, we have had a belly full of the police. And I don't know about you, but I am drained. Here, here. Oh. Well, Samson will be chuffed. Cheers. Yeah, on one condition. I do not want to hear one word in that village about Declan being arrested for murder. Do you hear? You want to keep your jobs, so you keep your mouths zipped. I need to see Declan. Uh, you can't just barge in. He's not in anyway. I'd be happy to take a message for him. Really? Well, you can start by asking 
how long he knew that Alex was buried in his garden? I didn't. I didn't know. OK, you lot can get off now. But you knew someone was down there, didn't you? Someone or something. We didn't know what we'd found. And you did nothing. So whether you were involved or not, his blood is still on your hands. So you can put them where you left his body to rot. Where are the kids? They're upstairs. Thank goodness you're back. Oh, what is it? Is Look, it? This, I've got to talk to you this afternoon. I'm... Hey, yeah. Uh... Oh. Do you think Arthur will be all right with a box of liqueurs and some olives? David seriously needs to get down the cash and carry. Whoa, well, is everything all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was just, yeah, I was um, having one of my panicky days, you know. Sorry, Alex. Grim day all round, really. Is that what you meant by your text? You said you wanted to talk urgently. Look, there was a man. It's probably something or nothing, but he was going into yours. Rona let him in. I'm probably speaking out of turn here. OK, whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, I was right. <sighs> hey, sit yourself down. Rona's passed a surprise. Don't ask what the surprise is. You all right? Fine. I got caught up at the farm. How's Moira? Depressed about Alex? It's just too awful. Wow, you're right. That come down really has passed off. How does that work? Well, it just sometimes does, really. <sighs> Not often enough, though. Really? Yeah, sit down. It's getting cold. Rona, you're not overthinking things again, are you? I want to give us the best chance of working. And the only way I know how to do that is... If you go into rehab. Rehab? Well, I'll pay gladly. That there's some nice ones. I, I just... I want you to get all the help you can. I have all the help I need right here with you. No, I can't do this anymore. I'm enabling your habit. You need to get better properly. I am better. This is working. You're helping. I'm scared I'm not. If I'm honest, I'm scared I'm making it worse. No! Yes! I can't do this with anyone else but you. Oh, please, Ness. Please. <laughs> Don't leave me here on my own. I'm not going anywhere. I will be with you all the way. Rona, I'm in love with you. What choice do you think I have here? So you'll help me. Still. But I can't... No, no, I'll do anything. OK? Whatever programme you say, I will do. But please don't leave me on my own like this. You are the only one, the only one who's really there for me, please. I need you. I really, really need you. Everything we feared would happen has. They haven't re-arrested you. Not yet. I went to see Jay on my hands and knees yesterday. I even resorted to blackmail to try and get him to help me. We don't need him. You could sell some properties. Or home farm. Ego too fragile. That's all I've got. Uh, you won't be needing it in prison. Cheers. Well, you're the one so sure that's where you're going. Never had you down as a quitter. Paddy, listen to me. But for the record, this this has only just begun, OK? It's not like we've been carrying on behind your back or... Rona. You, you shouldn't have walked in. You should have knocked. My house, Rona. Rona, look at me. Paddy, I know this must be a shock. Rona! No, you were seeing someone else. We never meant for you to find out like this. Honest. But I love her. And I think she loves me. She's not even gay. 
You're not even gay. So what are you playing out? Tell her. It's ridiculous. Tell her it's ridiculous. You don't understand. You'll never understand. I thought it was another man. No. I could never love another man. I love her, though. No, Paddy, please. I need you to believe just one thing. There was never a time, ever, when I stopped loving you. When you took your wedding rings off. You still love me then? Paddy, please. waking from the coma and the baby's on its way but David's far from happy Coronation Street's coming up then oh go on let's have a good old giggle this bank holiday Monday you've been framed is here at eight <laughs>